Finally time to reveal one of the biggest patches we're gonna get now. There's a couple important things still in here, like a returning card that we're getting, which card is still gonna be removed, because there's still one card gone, and then a bunch of other changes like armor and MMR reset that we're gonna cover. So this is May 10th tomorrow, we'll also get the very first Battleground season. Also ratings get reset, so when you log in you will still have your rating there, but as soon as you play a game it goes to zero. As mentioned already, buddies are leaving, but they might come back in the future because they were more of a seasonal event, just like spells were. Also this is actually kind of big the tavern tier 5 has been reverted to be 9 gold when you level to tier 4 normally this was 11 gold i think so they upped it from 9 gold to 11 gold so it was a bigger decision and harder to level straight to tier 5 so that will now be a thing again power leveling might actually be back and creeding into early six drops because right now it was super hard to go from tier 5 to uh, tier 4 to tier 5 with a triple to high roll uh, because of that increased gold that you need so this is actually i think gonna have a massive impact now it's like one small Small note in a patch but yeah this is gonna lead to more six jobs being taken with triples heroes with transforming hero powers can now see the next stage of their hero power by hovering over it so I think this assumes like Arana. If you're playing Arana, you can hover over your hero power and check out what the next phase of your hero power does. And here's just something for consistency. Cards that read for the next combat or for the next combat only have been updated to read until next turn for text space, consistency, accuracy. Uh, this doesn't matter. So Nagas and Spellcraft, these are things I covered in previous videos. So if you haven't seen me go over all of the Nagas and give them a rating, how good I think they will be, go check that out. Also the new hero we've covered already, which is again, going to be a hero that I think will be pretty decent like it seems like pretty good hero power compared to what else we have and so these are all the minions i'm not gonna go over them again because i've gone into them in length in depth in detail all of the interactions how strong i think they are also the new non-naga cards we got other cards as well that were not part of the naga tribe which i covered in the last video and these might actually have a bigger impact on the game as mentioned than the new tribe because this is a replacement for amalgadon uh, but there's one more card that we're gonna get introduced and one more card that is gone that wasn't revealed yet. The champion of Yeshraj is gone, which makes sense kind of because the card didn't really see play. It scales way too slow compared to what other stuff we have right now. A 4-4. Taunt compare doesn't really work. Yeah, it just makes sense to get rid of this card that is kind of just there and fell off compared to the power level that we have right now. And Spore Amalgadon, Seafood Slinger, and Flat Tusk have already been revealed. And the cards that we got back instead. So Nightmare Amalgam is the tree drop now. It used to be a two drop, it's now a tree drop coming back. And Bristleback Knight is back. So Bristleback Knight, in case you weren't there when this card was a thing, uh, was released with well, boys, it's a Divine Shield with Frenzy, so it regains Divine Shield on hit. This was a pretty strong card. If you play Menagerie, this is one of the best Divine Shield cards to get because you have like Bronze Warden and Cyclone, which have like a one-time shield. This thing could regain shield. Has Wind Fury as well, so you could lead with it in case you're up against the comp where you want to go first, which helps counter mech holes as well that are taunted. And it's just great if you have a gem spitter comp. Like overall, it's a really good tempo 5. Frenzy is a little bit like toxic though because if you regain a shield on this that's massive if you don't that could literally lose you the game so it, it does bring some extra coin flips in the game but i'm not going to complain too much i think this was a pretty interesting card to work with and kind of fun to build around but yeah uh it is now at five attack as well so it slightly got buffed plus one attack also let's read the death comment i think this will be pretty interesting uh to see why some of the changes were made amalgadon was fun while it lasted but led to the end game warbands feeling very similar over time amalgadon served three different roles in design a flexible minion for all minion types menagerie driver and a chance for a comeback against opponents who have skills that's bigger than yours but in the end yeah like they mentioned every end game just is amalgadons it's a menagerie driver but honestly it works with every tribe with murlocs with dragons like you want the mulligan and i mean it's a comeback chance it's basically just everything in one so it's time for something fresh we've distributed those roles across a few minions in this patch so they kind of wanted to take a mulligan separate it into pieces over multiple cards and that is the nightmare amalgam so the tree job that is kind of like a curator buddy or a curator hero power which is all the different tribes mantid queen which is kind of a worse version of a mulligan that we've also discussed and leroy which is just there was poor replacement, so I don't really feel like this should be here. Additionally, this change reflects an update to our Battlegrounds design philosophy. Okay, whenever we introduce a new minion type or major system, we also plan to release other minion pool changes like these in order to keep the game fresh no matter how you play. So that is really cool to know from now on when there's gonna be a tribe pushed out or any other major changes, it seems like they will 
mess with the minion pool a little bit so cards that fall off or cards that they want to reintroduce back into the game you know could see some play again which is cool this means that if your favorite card gets removed in a nerf or in a patch it might come back again in the future now here's the armor updates i'm not going to go over all of them but just the most noteworthy i think or the ones that i feel like are most out of place so zero armor it's pretty interesting to still see any here i don't think they'll be great without their buddy queen ashara is tier zero so they do expect the new hero to be really good that's already a good thing to know but yeah actually all of these make sense except for maybe ysera ysera is pretty bad as well right now maybe without buddies it's probably going to be slightly better but i don't think it should be a zero armor uh, hero other than that i think all of these kind of deserve zero armor so heroes that previously didn't have armor now get armor back because well they don't have the strong buddy anymore like for example patches galawix is getting armor back though i would like to see galawix still in tier one and also putting like maligals and katoon in the same bucket is kind of weird because katoon is really bad Maligals arguably really good the same with like george but overall i'm kind of happy with this bucket oh actually just so many armor tiers I'm, okay i'm gonna go fast actually let's just go to the last one so which ones are getting the most armor yeah, I guess all of this makes sense. These are all pretty bad. Let's go over the uh, bug fixes real quick. There's nothing here for battlegrounds, it seems. And there were a lot of bugs with battlegrounds, like for example, Silas tickets that stayed on a card when you tripled it. None of that is mentioned here. Uh, maybe that, that all of that is fixed, but doesn't say it in the patch notes. Although it does say that there were other bug fixes, text and art corrections, which I mean, don't apply that much to battlegrounds, I think. And performance improvements. Please let this mean that the lag is reduced because lag is still a major issue right now. I have to close the game and restart it like every one or two hours, which is just ridiculous. So I hope that is going to be slightly better. Although with a new tribe from the past, what we've realized is that that actually usually introduces more performance issues than ever before because it's all this new stuff cramped into the game. We'll see though. Uh, this is a massive patch. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow live when this patch goes live because I'll be streaming it. I'll be trying out all of the new cards, all of the new things and, and try and break the meta right away. Have a good day and I'll catch you in the next upload.